You are suffering from cognitive dissonance. They are just ignorant. <laughs> As border border industry, we totally disassociate with ourselves with those acts and what and what to convey our and we want to convey our message to every Ugandan that whoever is involved in those in those killings does not does it at his own will even of using motor, motorcycles are there are there either to transport are yeah many when you are chosen to lead please go for adult interest classes this will help when you have to write or read a statement on behalf of your people anyway some more of your concerns sir you got about the industry all, all involved in borderism by made different by different such as different associations and groups should come at an end and have a unified body. He is struggling to explain that border border riders are not the blame for the rampant murders in the country. And that it is wrong people who use motorbikes to commit crimes. But the gentleman has good company. Many countrymen face the same problem. We haven't sent it there to die you there, to settle there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> we... <laughs> Honorable Naduli, you should indeed laugh at yourself. Anyway, I like your English. Oh, is it Lungish? Hard working. Congo is him. She can't be a Congo body. Then I'm going to Congo. Right kind of Congolism. Mm. You, are, you haven't been so poorly desired to go under Congolizing, <laughs> then you may get the money. Really? <laughs> 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 Brother Minister without portfolio, please next time tell us the meaning of the word Congolism from your dictionary the next time. <laughs> <laughs> so far talking about that one there. The <laughs> one is his power, about his road, about his office. He cannot supply every calm. He do this and that, that one there. How could you? Oh, the one? <laughs> this one, this one. Oh, one? Uh, what uh, one? What one? What about you, Muse? What is your name? Making me take any time. I'm the one talking. Even if you don't know what you're I'm making me take any time. I'm the one talking. Even if you don't know what you're doing, I'm the one talking. Even if you don't know what you're doing, I'm the one talking. Even if you don't know what you're doing, I'm the one talking. Explain those pressing issues in your mother tongue. ID. People who don't have ID, they can't get someone. ID. You cannot get someone. So now that one can be complained. Then I give someone to press somewhere. That one there. Even that uh, some, something that one to, give, to bring it here cannot give you. All right. All right. That's enough, Papa. We shall look for that one. Let's hear from this wonderful gospel preacher. Jesus made a footprint. An eternal footprint. A philosophical footprint which we follow. And it has had impact on the moral righteousness of mankind. Although we don't listen. Amen. Amen, my preacher, Jenoka Hindo Tafiri. But you have been told Jesus is about to come back. When I, was, I grew up, they said Jesus was coming. I've been waiting, and I'm about to die. <laughs> Maybe he will come. I, I don't know, but uh, I'm sure he will not come during my time. <laughs> but believers know that Jesus will come back to judge you and me. If I were Jesus, I wouldn't come back. I mean, the man was here, you beat him with sticks. They beat him with sticks and whips. Now they have nuclear weapons. If, if I were him, what would I be coming to do here? Huh? Honorable, how will you go to heaven then when you don't want him to come back? There is no shortcut, General. I think God will forgive me because he's supposed to be merciful, so... Yes, they say he's merciful. 
as I say, is a Romaite, is a Masur, and so I have no problem. I'll go to heaven because you forgive me. But Mr. Soldier Preacher, we hear you rarely preach in church. Bishop Magam is my nephew. And he always tells me I should go to church to pray. And I tell him, Bishop, why should I go to church to pray? The other day you told me God knew everything. He knows everything. He knows my beginning, he knows my end. Why should I waste his time telling him things he already knows? <laughs> you are really good. But uh, why didn't your people vote you back to parliament? Last time when I was looking for votes, people were telling me, pay school fees, you don't come for barrios. I said, I'm not an undertaker. <laughs> you, don't, you don't come for weddings. I said, who said I'm the best man to everybody? I said, we shall not vote for, for you. I said, you can go to hell and stay there. Ah, yes, Nandutu. Point blank. You miss me, you need me, I don't need you. I said, we shall vote. I said, you can go to hell and stay there. <laughs> <laughs>